<laughs> like you are here <laughs> sitting, yeah, no, I know. watching yourself, I'm watching analyzing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Weekend Smile. Reggae Princess Savannah made her Rebel Salute debut on night one of the two-day event last Friday. Today, she's here to tell us all about her experience after a successful performance, as well as, you know, to discuss her recent acting debut in the Bob Marley One Love movie. Savannah, welcome to Weekend Smile. Thank you so much for having me. You, I'm excited. You're more than welcome, looking fabulous. Thank you so much. Yes. You know, you know I'm wearing Dear Tima, so I have to show it our road. And then, obviously, my auntie, uh, well, not my auntie, auntie, but you know, so everybody. Everybody's the auntie. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, Marie made this and yeah. 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 Okay. How has your musical journey been, you know, leading up to this year, 2024? Man, a lot. It's been everything. It's been great. It's been low. It's been high. It's been beautiful. It's been ugly. It's been life. It's been life. Um, and I'm just really grateful to have been invited to perform at Rebel Salute. Actually, I rang in the new year performing at the Firework Festival okay. downtown Waterfront. Okay. So that was really nice. And I felt very welcomed and at home, you know? It's interesting. You took a little break from us, but at the same yeah. time... We still, you know, we were tuned in, we were listening to your music, we were still supporting Savannah. You're yeah. one of my favorite voices. Thank you. And, you know, every time I listen to Savannah, I get goosebumps, Stop. right? I do. I, I really I do. Like no, man, I'm true, man. I was just watching you and see, as, as I got to be true. So, I mean, it took a little break from us. So, it, I, we know that, you know, life happened, but yeah. you are back. Yeah, man. You are full back of, full, for 2024. Full, 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 back. Um, yeah, no, Rebel Salute. You know, Tony Rebel called me. He was mm. like, hey, Savannah, I'm in love with song we have, you know. I think he was talking about love me you okay. know but you know the uncle vibes right yeah like, hey, wanna... so i said <laughs> oh thank you and he was like i want to have to sing as night night one i'm gonna say all right cool no problem so when um when i reached out to simone no we sought out everything and then we just got it done yeah. so yeah how was your experience and you know preparations for the show because i know you had to rehearse yeah, yeah. what did you want to leave on that stage knowing that it was your debut performance yeah. what did you want to leave with your fans and your patrons yeah. who attended rebel salute well i wanted to show up as myself and i wanted to because what i'm doing as far as like even my performance for stage, my outfits, um, I want to feel as powerful and as confident I can feel. And clothes help me do that. Mm -hmm. I've always big, big, been big in big fashion. Been big into clothes and yeah. styling and fashion. Actually, I design a lot of my costumes for stage with my brother, okay. right? Tread, tread designs, Davin, big up yourself. Um, and so yeah, that was one of the focus for Rebel Salute. I wanted to have something on that you know, emphasized and highlighted me and my personality. I think of like a Diana Ross, how she always have something go on with extra and it's always her. Um, yeah, and I'm just- Eye-catching and Yeah, eye-catching and yeah. beautiful, but also very me and expressive. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to be warm for stage. Really and truly is only treating me need. I need to have had enough rehearsal time. I need to be vocally warm for stage. I'm just need feeling something when we feel good enough. And yeah, I you want look good. To, yeah, I want to look good, feel good, warm. Right, get where get for rehearsal the band. I'm You're going ready. to do a good job. Why yeah. did you describe the outfit though as unveiling? Because it had a it had Veil. a headpiece yeah. that you actually unveiled your face yeah. to you know the crowd. Yeah. Was it that that, that was where you know the, the, <laughs> the description came from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um and it's also a kind of a marriage to Jamaican music and marriage to Jamaica itself. It's a veil. It's a veil. <laughs> yeah, it's a veil, yeah. Okay. It's, um, Three quarter foot, all in one piece. My brother made it, tread designs again. And yeah, it was just a matter of, I just wanted some drama. I wanted to be as expressive as I could be because that is the kind of person I am. Okay, so. if, if you're given another opportunity to perform on the Rebel Salute stage, would you take it? Yes. Okay, yeah, your performance yeah. this year was good. You feel good about I it? I feel good about it. Um, I have to shout out the musicians. They really respected the direction for my set list because I come on and say, oh, I'm going at the opera, I'm going blend it in and drop in allow me and don't stop at until we reach right before a bit too shy. Then we have the break. So mm -hmm. they fully respected what I wanted to do and mm -hmm. we were able to put in the time and if you were able to watch that whole performance, you'll see that everybody was vibing. Yeah. Me and the trumpet playing in my dance. It's just, yeah, it was a really good time. Everybody was in sync, you know. Yes. The synergy was yeah, there, man, the, the synergy vibe was, was there. there. That's also important. It seems you've been quite busy as well, Savannah, because yes. you made a debut, acting debut, I should say, in the Bob Marley film. 
Tell us about that. Well, it's not my acting debut, okay. but it's my first big feature film because I have okay. been acting since 2017. Okay. Um, just on a much smaller scale, though. So like, what are the big web stages? series, yeah, man, <laughs> big stage. This is the first big stage. Um, so telling you about it, really, what happened is, yeah, Paramount. We got we got an email from Paramount saying, "Oh, we're interested in you sending in a self tape to read for." It was Rita Marley at first, right? Mm. And I was like, "Oh, oh. okay." That's a big deal. Um, so I sent in my self-tape and they asked for another follow-up. I said, all right, I'm sending the next one. And then I saw that I didn't get it and okay. it was given to Lashana. And then I was like, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, she's an incredible actress. But after that, they followed up to say, oh, would you be interested in reading for the part of Judy Mohan? Mm -hmm. And then I said, obviously. So then they did on a Tough Gang um, studios. The director was here and I think a few of the main crew. So I went right in front of them, auditioned in front of them, and then I think like maybe a week later they said, oh, we love you for the part. Yeah. So, yeah. When you saw yourself, because the premiere took place earlier this week, when you saw yourself on the screen, yeah. how did you feel? I felt really emotional. Actually, it wasn't even so much about me as it was about seeing my castmates who have become like family now. Like I really do love them. Mm -hmm. And every time I saw them, I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the people in the movie theater, I was like, ah! Yeah. Um, no, but it was just a really emotional, proud moment. And not just for me, and but for everybody, you know? What was the highlight of that experience for you? Anything that happened on set? Anything that happened during rehearsals? You know, anything that stood out to you that you will take with you forever? Any we, memorable experiences? We used to have jam sessions all the time on ah. set. Yeah, so Jay Summer, he would always be playing his guitar. Um... Yeah, and so we'd, because the wait time sometimes between filming is long. It'll mm -hmm. be, oh, this set of actors are needed now, and then they'll film for like four hours. So you did it for four hour wait. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we just jam and have a good time. There's a lot of talking, a lot of debates, you know, things mm -hmm. get spirited. But yeah, it's, uh, hanging out. Oh, when we're, when we're filming in Jamaica, we did a whole heap of beach and river bars and you know, uptown Mondays and stuff. It was, there's a lot of, there's a real sense of community between us, I think. That's good. Yeah, we all love each other. That's good. Yeah. And especially when you're working together on such a big project for such a long time, yeah. it's good to actually like each other. Yeah. And get along with each yeah, other. Yeah, no, we have a big up to Karine still from KBC Casting. Mm -hmm. This is Karine Blake Shin. She was, who was responsible for casting all of us, mm -hmm. right? So everybody that you're seeing in the film, she had a hand in it and, she did a really good job because the chemistry was effortless yeah. from day one. You never even have to try. Um, and casting is, as you know, like 70% of the work because if you can cast the right person for the right role, yeah. then the rest is you history. Know, we just need to do a research and rehearse and set the lines and we'll be ready. Get it done. Yeah. What do you have uh, coming up for 2024? Any more projects? Yes, I have new music coming up oh. very, very soon before the end of February. And I'm excited about it. I'm going to come here and probably sing it for All right. Yeah. I mean, what can we anticipate? You know, what what, what should we anticipate? It what kind is... of what kind of music? What kind of Savannah we're getting? We get <laughs> what kind of Savannah? Is it, is it gonna be the No man, I'm gonna get Savannah, man. I'm gonna get the um... love savannah, the the shy savannah. <laughs> is it what, what kind of savannah? I'm I'm curious. Uh it's it's the savannah that's talking about um, you know keep well what the message is keep going keep going yeah okay so that's what i'll be talking about it's the singing savannah come here built ah you know? okay so it's the powerful savannah is okay. what i would say okay. um and hopefully that savannah will be welcome because it's just it's talking about real things you know okay. we all go through heavy heavy things right and um but it's about to, keep going and we have to keep going and yeah. persevering and that's uh, what it's about that's a single any projects uh, yes album? it's leading up to a project we're not gonna tell you it's an album yet okay if i have a really really good year then you're gonna get an album if i if you need a little bit more work then you wait a little bit a little bit more yeah last year uh, you performed on protege's uh, lost in time music festival yeah you, you brought me out in a set i am performing okay. on february 24th okay this year i'm performing i don't know what my performance time is yet but once i know i'll just share it on social media but That's i'm right. excited i go probably have dancers for the one and you know we're something like a shorter okay all <laughs> right i did from verbal salute we're gonna have some fun we're gonna yeah. sing fun seven now yes but the singer 
Who's always Savannah? the singer. Always. Yeah, man. All right, Savannah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Big ups to you. You looked amazing at the premiere, by the way. Who were you wearing? I was wearing Dear Tima. Okay. Right. I was also wearing Bottega Veneta on my on my feet, and I was wearing custom red jewelry. They made it specifically for the premiere for me, and I have to shout it to my stylist, Mecca James Williams. She always. is, you know, the best. All right, Sev. So thank you so much for joining us. For sure. All right, guys, that was Savannah telling us about her rebel salute and acting experiences. Stay with us. We'll soon come back. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>